Hey guys. Oh, I am rude. Sorry. I could have waited six seconds to start that. I'm eating a banana, as <laughs> so you guys know. Okay. So this is the continuation onto the dogs, the dogs and babies video. Um, because YouTube cut my video, like down to a minute and a half. Um, I don't know exactly where I left off, but. Um, Basically, just for us, having a pet, I think, is a great idea. And I'm so disappointed that YouTube cut it off because at the end, Deacon was doing this arm thing for Cannon, and they were playing. Oh, my gosh, it was so cute. So I'm really disappointed it cut it off. However, I, ironically enough, was sent an article today um, from what to expect. I still get their weekly emails, and it has some really good information about kids and pets. By the way, if you have any kid or pet stains, the Pet Cleaner Kids and Pets works great. Um, you can get it at Walmart for like five bucks a bottle. It is, it's amazing. Um, anyways, so this article is basically the positive effects of pet ownership for kids. Um, I found the article on everydayhealth.com and pet health. Basically what it said, and I'll just give you kind of, you know, a really short rundown is that um, dogs and other animals can help children cope with a variety of ailments, depression, emotional disorders, poor immune function, um, pets help avoid developing allergies. They help with increasing weight for children. Isn't that unbelievable? Um, and also with becoming social outcasts. So those reasons alone, I mean, are enough. For me, just to give it a shot, um, they say children and dog-owning families have more traditional values better academic achievement, and greater respect for their parents. Sign me up. Um, there, oh, there's just, there's so many facts. I already said it, so I'll try to post it in the sidebar, the link to this. Um, let's see. A large-scale survey of 11,000 Australians, Chinese, and Germans found that pet owners made up 20% fewer annual visits to the doctors than non-pet owners. A study of 100 children younger than 13 who own cats found more than 80% said they got along better with family and friends. I'm just reading some random ones. Children with pets at home score significantly higher on empathy and pro-social skills than non-pet owners. Um, and those were just a few of, I just randomly picked those. Um, let's see. Basically saying that, um, let's see. Exposure to animals early in life may help strengthen immune function. Um, so everybody out there who has ridiculed me for saying I shouldn't have my dog and my baby near my kids may want to reconsider. Um, that was just a creepy, creepy, creepy noise. Ooh, that was, that was creepy. Um, I think it was a coyote outside. That scares me. Um, a little bit. So, let's see, all, um, a child-animal bond can reduce stress, anxiety, um, also decreasing allergic responsiveness, blah, 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 blah. So, anyways, check out that article if you're interested, everydayhealth.com. Um, hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of information. I thought it was a great article. Um, so, anyways, I will, um, talk to you guys soon. Bye.